Hi there, welcome to the guide. Today I'm going to show you how you can fix uh, this blue screen of death you'll be getting on your Windows 10 machine. Um, so here will give you the error code of 0 times c 0 e um, If you're getting this, don't worry, there's a very, very easy fix which I'm going to show you. Um, I'd appreciate if you could subscribe if you find this um, video useful. It will help me a lot. Thanks a lot. Now the first thing you need to do is put your Windows 10 install DVD into the drive and boot to it. So I'm just going to restart my machine here. And when you get prompted to press any key, press any key. If you don't have your Windows 10 uh, install DVD, if your PC crashes three times, it will bring you to the screen that I'm going to show you. So the first screen here, click next. Don't click on install now, but click on repair your computer. Click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and command prompt. Now it's most likely being caused by either a corrupt file or possibly a file has been replaced by maybe a Windows update, maybe you've installed an application that's overwritten a file. So what I like to do is I like to start with this command. So if you come here, if you type in check disk C colon forward slash R forward slash F. Now if you let that finish, you can see there it's it's finished already. So if you type exit to come out of this, and then if you if you select turn off your PC and turn your PC back on, hopefully it will boot to the desktop. If not, come in here, troubleshoot again, advanced options, click on start up repair. That's going to launch an application that's going to look at all of your Windows startup files and processes and make sure it all looks correct. If it finds any issues, it's going to automatically repair it. So as soon as that's finished, again, reboot your machine. Hopefully you'll get to the desktop. If not, come here and click on command prompt again and then run this command. B-O-O-T-R-E-C space forward slash fix M-B-R. And you should see there it says successful. So if you exit out of that and then again, turn off your machine. Uh, reboot to the desktop and it should uh, yeah it should, should boot to the desktop for you. Uh, if you still have a problem after these fixes, post it in a comment below. Let me know what you've done and I'll try my best to help you out. Uh, but thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one.